So I'm going to start this video off by doing a quick overview of what I did for the previous year, which is 2018. So I'm going to start off my page by writing this is the beginning of anything you want in pencil and then I'm later going to outline the letters in the Muji Point .38 pen and doing some quick brush lettering. After that, I'm just going to setting up my year at a glance by putting down all of the months and making sure they're all even and spaced out. My accent colors are going to stay the same with the mild lighter, gray, and purple, and I'm going to add some gold stars as I did on the last page using gold acrylic paint and a brush pen. The next page I kept it pretty simple because this page is a memory page where I can put down little stickers or little pictures that I collect throughout the months. Finally it's time for the monthly setup and this month's theme is a cassette player and right now I'm just sketching it out and later outlining it with the same Muji pen. And on the right side of the page, I'm doing a monthly overview, which is a calendar with the spaces five by five. Mm -hmm. 
Next, I'm going to be coloring in the cassette player with some more Fuji mild liners in the colors dark gray, the golden yellow, bright blue, and the reddish pink. I am now setting up my goals in habit tracker page with three boxes for my habits and then uh, two bigger boxes for my goals. Again, I am coloring the cassette with the same zebra mild liners, but what's different with this page is at the top, I'm going to be doing swiggly lines with the same markers just to create like a psychedelic feel to the page. The next thing I add is my mood tracker, which for this page is basically a cassette tape but with the windings undone and each little square is each day. For my weekly spread, I keep it fairly simple in terms of the design and for each day I have 8 spaces for the writing. On the bottom of the page, I'm going to be drawing two little rectangles for songs of the week and uh, just a basic overview of what's due. For the design, I'm still going to do the squiggly lines that I did on the previous page using the same markers. After coloring everything in, I'm just going to use the Tombow Footer Nosekit pen to put in the dates on top of the little squiggles. On the top left, I just put in a little quote that I found on Pinterest, and I try to find a different one for every week. So here's just a little overview of what we did, 
And if you guys like these videos and want more bullet journaling videos, just feel free to comment down below any suggestions. And I'll see you guys next time.